Are you repeatedly applying for IPOs and not getting the allotment? Let's make sure that doesn't happen again this time. In this video, we'll see the insider tips on how to get your allotments and how to boost up your chances for getting your IPO allotments. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Anand and I'm posting technical contents on this channel, MacWin. Without further delay, let's find out what are the ways which you get a confirmed allotment on your IPOs. Investors would be often wondering why am I not getting the IPO allotments. So today I'll be sharing you some tips and strategies that will help you to increase up your chances of securing an IPO allotment. Especially for uh, those ones which are highly subscribed. So uh, the first thing that you need to uh, think or to know about is like avoid big applications. Do not try to apply for anything over uh, 2 lakh plus. So always try to go under your retail applications which are under 2 lakhs. So there's no point in making a large applications in an oversubscribed IPO. So you will be able to see the subscription status of IPO. You'll be able to see them in money control or in any other websites where you'll be able to see how many percentage has been uh, uh, subscription happening on an IPO. So instead of going for uh, uh, oversubscription or in huge lots, you can go for minimum bids account across multiple accounts. In this way, you have an increased chance of getting an allotment. Then the second point to do or consider is you have to apply through multiple accounts. So applying through multiple accounts is uh, instead of making one large bid, you try to make up uh, individual bids on a single account. Try for multiple accounts. By multiple accounts, what I mean is not applying through Zeroda or through Upstocks or through Grow. Try to apply through different PAN cards. You can apply through your mother's account, father's account, brother, sisters, whoever it is. You can try applying through anyone's account. But try applying for multiple accounts. Try to go with one lot at least. And the third thing to consider is like... Um, Applying on the cutoff price, do not try to uh, decrease up your price, always go with the fair value like whatever is the cutoff price given on IPO, try go going with that. So the cutoff price means that while you are paying, whatever the price has been decided by the company, you will be able to get an allotment. So by doing this, you ensure that the bid is always considered and this is like going to be final. So any excess amount which you have uh, subscribed for will automatically be refunded. So you need not worry about that, always go with the cutoff value. Then the fourth thing to consider is like avoiding your last moment subscription. Don't wait until the last minute to apply. If you have already decided for your investment into an IPO, do it on the first or the second day. Because on the last day, it might definitely lead to bank account issues or you could experience some technical glitch or you can have a high demand in the application itself because we have the HNIs and QABs also participating in it. So every IPO will have a contribution from HNIs and QABs. So always have that in mind and try avoiding your last minute application issues. So the fifth important thing to consider is like filling your details properly. So it might sign uh, very basic because you are rushing the application. Always make sure that your name is correctly spelled on it, your DPID, bank details and everything is all properly set in. So the safest way is through an ASBA account and uh, you make sure that like all the details are correctly filled into it and your uh, uh, the DMAT provider will automatically take care of it. So you need not worry about this in details and if you are specifically applying through any banks then you have to go through this process. Then the important thing also to consider is always go early. The easiest thing for you to do is like in, if an IPO is open for three days, I personally will always go into application on the very first day itself. Some have the mentality in mind to go on the very last day. Always try to go with the first day because uh, many investors wait till the last day to apply. Then they try to gauge the uh, IPO's response depending on the, how much uh, retail investment has happened, the HNIs as well as the QABs. So if you are confident about the company, don't wait. Apply on the first or the second day because your chances of getting an allotment is more because the last minute applications will normally get rejected because of the uh, slow processing or through the technical glitch or due to the high demand. So try to always go on the first or the second day itself. And uh, the very important thing to consider on this is like buying your parent company shares. For example, there was this um, IPO from Tata Technologies. So whoever has got or had Tata Power or uh, Tata Motors on their portfolio, they were all given an allotment definitely in Tata Technologies. So always try buying the parent company share because parent company or the holding company. So this strategy does not apply for all IPOs, but when it is there, it is definitely striking a goal. So if the company is like uh, giving up an IPO, then try to holding the parent company's st stocks so that your uh, automatically getting an allotment through that DMAT account is like a higher chance. So you can bid on both retail as well as the shareholder category. So that helps you in increasing up your chances of getting the allotment. So you're given like two chances there. 
So these are some of the strategies, especially the last one. So the next IPO that you're going to apply, try applying these strategies into it. And the chances of you getting the IPO allotment is like really huge in this. And if you found this video really helpful, make sure that you like this video and subscribe to this channel for more such financial insights. And as always, if you have any questions, do drop them in the comments below. I would love to hear from what you guys come up with. And thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.